Pedro. And hello there, my name is Strike Alpha, and today I'm going to be casting my friend I Heart Justice's game. They're going to be playing as Leona on the red team with Karthus, Malzahar, Rengar, and Camille. They're going to be playing against the blue team, which is going to be a Teemo, a Mumu, Vladimir, Severe, and Thresh. So, just starting off and looking at these team comps, I'm kind of in, kind of like the red team a little bit more than the blue team, but then again, uh... I don't know. It, it kind of goes both ways. The blue team, in my opinion, is going to be really good on team fighting. Uh, they have really good engage thanks to Severe and, or Severe and uh, Amumu. Uh, so thanks to those two, the rest of those or rest of their team can pretty much jump into a team fight. So if Thresh lands a hook, the entire blue team should be able to follow up pretty easily and pretty quickly. Um, Red team kind of has the same situation, except they have uh, the extra global from coming in from Karthus. And the person who's essentially going to start their fights is going to be Leona. But it's only a matter, it's more of a... Blue team's able to get in a little bit faster, but I think red team's going to do a lot more damage once that fight starts. Um, yeah. That I'm definitely seeing uh, red team trying to get ahead in the early game. If they are able to get ahead in the early game, uh, their team fights are going to be significantly easier compared to uh, what would happen if blue team was in their same position, I think. That being said, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about these matchups. You have Teemo versus Camille in the top lane. Um... Uh, Personally, I think that Teemo is going to have the advantage. He might not necessarily have that advantage later on once he gets to six, but I still think he should have a bit of, uh, he should be able to build an advantage by that point thanks to his blind and his poison. Uh, if Camille is able to kind of survive at level six and stay somewhat even with the Teemo, I get the feeling that she's going to pretty much be able to jump on him at any moment and uh, almost be able to fight him whenever she wants, or whenever he, yeah, whenever she wants. And here we go, we got Karthus kind of doing something semi-smart, but this isn't necessarily the best move for him. He got, Karthus got ignited, he's going to be going down first blood thanks to uh, the Thresh using Flay. And it looks like this is going to be a smooth double kill for the Severe. I'm going to say great way to start for the blue team. Oh man, almost a 1k gold advantage thanks to that double kill. Anyway, uh, if, yeah. So let's go ahead and move on to this jungle matchup. We have Amumu versus Rengar. Uh, Amumu has way more or way better potential to kind of uh, team fight later. Uh, like I said, it matches very well with what the blue team needs in terms of uh, team composition. Uh, the question is, is Rengar going to allow that to happen? Rengar getting cut. Rengar is essentially getting collapsed on, but this might not be a good move for Vlad. He might have went a little too far. Silence goes down. Meanwhile, team Rengar is going after the Teemo, and now he's going after the Vlad. It's pretty much a brawl out here. You see Camille trying to get out of there now, and yeah. So, uh, if Rengar is able to kind of negate the complete... Oh, and we got the nice jump through from Camille, nice zip line. Uh, ends up causing Teemo to flash as Rengar was right there. Looks like Rengar is going to be taking a bit of Amumu's jungle, which again is what Rengar is going to need to do in order to uh, kind of limit the uh, limit the potential of this Amumu moving forward. Uh, so with that though, 
Um, we'll have to see if Rengar is going to be able to kind of do his thing. And it looks like Rengar is going to be fighting Amumu a little bit. He misses his bolas. And now Amumu might want to get out of that bush because Rengar keeps hopping in and out of it. And now we got him getting out of there along with Amumu. Although it looks like he still wants to go after Amumu if he can. Meanwhile, in bot, we got a nice fight here going on. Uh, Severe throwing some boomerang blades out and some ricochets. Meanwhile, Thresh moving up a little too far. He might regret this. He is not going to, though. And that's going to be the end of this fight. Oh, and we got a hook. I don't know. Leona should be able to make it out of this, but she is taking quite a bit of damage. She goes ahead and finally hits that W. Uh, but it looks like it will be the end of that fight. Uh, for Vlad versus Malzahar, uh, what Malefic Vision still does damage. Ew, and Karthus gets hooked, but he didn't get followed up on. But meanwhile, it looks like Leona went ahead and followed up. Uh, Malefic Visions does damage even through that sanguine pool so even when Vlad thinks he's untargetable if Malefic Visions hits him before he goes under uh, he's going to be taking that damage as he moves through so it's going to be pretty much a chess match in that matchup because I think both uh, both both mid players should be or both mid champions should be able to kind of take advantage of the other one uh, they should be able to fight off the other one the spell shield on Malzahar makes things a little bit easier in terms of fighting off the Vlad but again uh, Vlad does quite a bit of damage and it could make things a little more difficult especially if uh, Malzahar happens to have no mana uh, as Malzahar tends to kind of burn through his mana fairly quickly uh, if you're not paying much attention to what he's actually doing. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see who's going to be the better mid laner in this situation. Also keep in mind the help Malzahar's uh, ultimate will stop Vlad from pretty much doing whatever he wants to too. Uh, he's currently level 6, but Vlad is also level 6, so anything kind of can... Uh, happen at this point. It's up to whoever thinks they have the best burst to kind of make things uh, work out. And finally, we got this bot lane matchup. We got Sivir and Thresh versus uh, Karthus and Leona. Uh, Sivir and Thresh makes a little, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to say Sivir has the capacity to kind of uh, do quite a bit of damage while Thresh has the capacity to hold people down. Uh, we got this fight going on. The Silver and Thresh need to get out of that zone, but looks like both Sivir and Thresh will go ahead and get out of there with Thresh getting that kill. Meanwhile, Leona with that Zenith Blade coming through, getting that kill on the Sivir. Uh, Thresh not really able to do too much in that situation. Say good job on Leona turning that uh, situation around. Oh, and here we go. We got the fight going on from Camille trying to do the sweeping kick, and it's not going to be all that much. It scared Timo a little bit, but won't do much more than that. Meanwhile, we got Rango coming in hot. I'm going to say Timo throwing down the mushroom. Uh, he's going to be dying to that turret. I'm going to say Timo playing pretty well off of that whole situation. Camille not going to go ahead and try and push that out. Uh, Mumu on his way up to Camille, but it looks like Camille is going to go ahead and back off. Uh, but yeah, Sivir and Thresh. I like that just because Sivir has the potential to kind of help him go in if he... Uh, wants to kind of get in position for a hook. Uh, okay, this might be the, a bad situation for Sivir. She's getting hit with the Skittles, and she's able to get out. Um, that being said, the Karthus and Leona bot lane is kind of uh, odd, but I guess it could work. It definitely helps in terms of like holding people down and doing more damage. Uh, Leona's ability 
procs off of auto attacks, I believe, in terms of sunlight. Um, Karthus isn't necessarily going for that, so I'm not really sure if those are a hundred or those two are a hundred percent synergistic. But at the same time, uh, being able to kind of hold people down definitely does help. And now we got that fight going on up top. Oh, Hemophage comes through on the Vlad, and looks like this is the end of Malzahar. He tries to throw down that ult, do some damage in, on the back end, but it's not gonna do much. And now Vlad has that advantage thanks to this Amumu ganking at the nine minute mark. So, with that, and now I don't know if Camille necessarily wants to do that, but. Oh, is she not going to be able to... Oh, the untargetable. Meanwhile, we got in bot lane. We got a lot of stuff going on. Karth is trying to hold down this Amumu. Amumu needs to get out of the area, but looks like Sivir is not going to make it out either. Amumu gets hit with the Karth assault. And now we got the double kill from Rengar and the single kill for this Karth is, uh giving... Giving red team actually more money than the blue team for the first time in this game, it looks like. So, uh, good play on Rengar making that happen. Getting that double, or getting that three person kill essentially in that bot lane. So, uh, looks like Malzahar is going to be going ahead and pushing out mid. Uh, right now, both teams probably should start to look towards getting that Earth Dragon. Um, both teams would definitely do well to take advantage of uh, kind of helping with that Siege advantage. Or getting that, a bit of a Siege advantage as well as helping to take down some of those bigger objectives later on in the game. <clears throat> Not sure if anyone's going to be making that move anytime soon, but... We got to see how this game is going to progress later on. So, let's say just looking at things as they are right now. And we got another fight in bot. Looks like Karthus is going in on the Leona. Leona misses her ultimate. ultimate. Uh, Sivir running through that Karthus ult and or Karthus death passive. And... That is going to be the end of Karthus. Meanwhile, up top, it looks like Rengar and Camille are starting to try and figure out what's going on here. It looks like Rengar ults, and he's going to get spotted out by that Vision Ward. Now he's going to take care of that and back out. Not really sure if he wanted to really stop for that, but hey, it works. Meanwhile, we got Leona coming up, helping this Bounce Heart get this stun and ult down. Uh, Malefic Vision still doing damage, but it looks like he, uh, Vlad, is going to be getting out thanks to Amumu throwing down his ult and helping uh, kind of hold everyone down and keep them from turret diving. But it does look like Red Team should be actually, what was that depth sentence? Alright, well, it looks like Leona might be getting ready to die here. Nope, she's not. She's going to make it out. Meanwhile, Teemo's going to be trying to play around his mushrooms, getting that damage out on uh, Camille. And this might be it. We got the Karthus ult, and that is the end of Teemo. Camille's going to be getting her second kill as a result. Let's say Requiem came down and is doing quite a bit of damage right now. And how, oh man, that's not good. This might be the end of Karthus, although I don't know how he managed to make that work, but Karthus ended up getting a double kill. Uh, Rengar was there to help clean up, but it doesn't look like Karthus is going to need it. Also, I'm not really sure why Karthus went hunt. Kind of uh, odd, but hey. Anyway, uh, looks like Malzahar is going to be going ahead and taking the first blood for tower for the red team. Um, always great for your team to kind of get something like that meanwhile it looks like miles is going to get spotted out by a vision ward and rengar is going to be getting that earth dragon by himself again like i said that's definitely going to be super helpful for his or team in terms of being able to siege a little bit better uh the next dragon oh here we go we got a fight oh 
Malzahar used his uh, Q a little too early. And meanwhile, Leona gets caught. She's taking quite a bit of damage from the Severe and the Thresh, but it's not going to be all that much. And it looks like Karthus is going to kind of persuade those two not to continue any further. Uh, the next, oops, next dragon is going to be another Earth Drake. So, um, we'll see if the blue team is going to try and even out that advantage that the red team currently has in terms of dragons. And we got another hook. This time it's on Karthus. This should be the end of him pretty easily. Uh, the spell shield goes down for the Severe to stop her from getting hit with that Leona ultimate. Uh, and now she has another kill. Uh, looks like Severe is definitely kind of getting her thing together. She's currently... Oh, and we got the ult from Malzahar and the ult from Ringar. They should actually be able to get this inner mid tower thanks to that gank. Uh, no one in... No one on the blue team really able to offer any type of defense in this situation. Timo's coming up to try and protect that inhib mid tower, but uh, at that point, it looks like Camille should be able to kind of push things out a little bit and move forward. Meanwhile, in bot lane, we got blue team getting their first turret of the game, uh, thanks to Severe and Thresh kind of pushing that out after uh, Karthus went down. Uh, meanwhile, okay, now it looks like Red Team is starting to take care of a little bit of that vision. Oh, the hook almost landed. If the hook had landed, Karthus probably would not be in a good situation right now. I'm not really sure what Karthus is trying to do, but meanwhile, we got Rengar and Malzahar going for this. I don't know what that was. Uh, looks like Thresh is not going to make it out of this if he keeps playing like this, especially with the record I'm coming down now. And we got a kill on the Teemo from the Requiem. Meanwhile, Rengar running for his life. Oh, and it looks like, I don't know who got the Rift Herald. It looks like that's going to go down to a Mumu, actually. He came through and stole it. Meanwhile, Vlad's going to go ahead and get that kill on Rengar, stopping the efforts of the red team to try and get that Rift Herald. Uh, Mumu looks like he's probably going to recall, and we'll see what lane he decides to throw that Rift Herald down. Uh, shortly. So, so far, uh, let's look a little bit at uh, what's going on in bot lane in terms of uh, the advantages that might have been getting built up so far. Right now, uh, Severe is 5 3 and 1 versus the Karthus being uh, 4 5 and 4. Money wise, they're pretty even. Uh, so it's kind of it's going to be kind of interesting to see what uh, both players, considering one's an APC and one's an ADC, what they're going to be going with. Uh, I believe that Karthus is probably going to be, well, our Karthus is definitely going for uh, some pen, and he was able to get that Archangel Staff, which is pretty. It's a pretty good move. Um, because once he gets that completely filled up, he should be pretty destructive in terms of the amount of spells he's going to be able to cast. Uh, that item still is giving a refund in terms of how much uh, mana it costs to do a single ability. With it giving you like a 33% refund uh, for every spell that you do, it's definitely something that Karthus is going to need if he plans on being... Uh, useful in the future while we got Karthus running into Vlad Vlad given knowing that he was walking into that throws down a little bit of damage and backs out uh, but yeah so it looks like Sivir is currently on her third item she currently has a storm razor and a phantoms dancer um, not a hundred percent sure what she's probably gonna build next in all honesty, I would consider building some AP or MR. Um, not AP, MR. Uh, mainly because there's quite a bit of AP damage coming from the red team itself. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Camille is going to go ahead and get that outer top tower. Um, 
I'm gonna say kind of uh, increasing the lead for the red team moving forward. But yeah, um, not really sure what she's gonna build next, but I would probably suggest a Mercurial Scimitar. Uh, just because that would get her out of the Leona ult pretty easily. And here we go. We got another fight. Karthus immediately goes down after getting hooked by the Thresh. Uh, and the entire blue team coming in after him. Meanwhile, it looks like that's going to be the end of Thresh from the Wreck Requiem. Uh, so much damage coming down on the blue team. It looks like the only one that might be left is going to be the Sivir. And she's not going to make it out. Meanwhile, Teemo is kind of... Uh, looking at things as his team is dying and going yeah maybe i might not want to be involved in that so now he is going to be set to defend this mid by himself uh against the pretty much the entire red team who looks like they're gonna be moving on towards dragon so he's gonna have an easy time defending that or defending it, the, the lanes but that's gonna be another objective down for this red team and another objective that makes getting other objectives a lot easier later on so oh and it looks like uh karthus had his uh seraph's embrace finally so we're gonna see what he chooses to build after that he's got quite a bit of uh ap coming from that one item as well as mana, uh, currently a significant amount of mana. <clears throat> uh oh, <clears throat> and I don't know if that was necessarily best move by Moo Moo releasing that so late, but it looks like the Rift Herald is going to be going down. Meanwhile, Teemo kind of wait, waiting to see what might happen here. Uh, whenever I, not gonna lie, whenever I play Teemo. I, I don't necessarily think to do this type of thing, but at the same time, when I do, you always want to stay off to the side. You never want to be in the same spot as where a minion may be, uh, because getting accidentally hit by something, definitely not a great, definitely not good. Meanwhile, Thresh is going to get caught out. That He was standing on top of Ward. He didn't even know it, and that is going to be the end of Thresh, another kill down for this Carthus. Looks like Red Team is definitely starting to shine a little bit. And we got the hook line coming in on this Vlad. Vlad trying to get out, but this isn't necessarily going to happen anytime soon. He gets held down by this Leona. And we got the Malefic Visions doing the damage necessary to get that last tick of damage off on uh, that Vlad. Meanwhile, it looks like Red Team is setting up to Siege in mid. This might be the end of Sivir. She's getting out as fast as she possibly can. Meanwhile, Requiem's coming down and Timo is going to get the kill on Malzahar. Uh, looks like Leona is going to be running for her life now. Now Ringar is in the fight. Ringar getting that kill on this Thresh and getting another kill on this Amumu. Another tower went down in top thanks to this Rengar. Rengar not making it out just because Severe was unable to go down that last time. We got another champion potentially getting ready to die. But it looks like Leon is going to make it out. Uh, looks like Blue Team is going to be rushing towards these Blue Team members trying to see if they can pick any of them off in the process. But it looks like Red Team, Leona, and Karthus will be able to fight another day as they're recalling right now. So at this point, I think the red team should probably try and go for a single pick. Uh, if they pick off any member of the blue team, that essentially negates uh, any of the team fighting potential that they have, I think. And without them having a team fight, per se, uh, there really isn't too much in terms of what the blue team can do to kind of uh, defend that Baron. All right, here we go. We got Karthus and Camille going in on this on this Thresh, and that is the kill. And I think that they should be moving towards Baron now. Meanwhile, we it doesn't look like that necessarily is the case, as Malzahar and Rengar are both in bot. Someone on the red team is pinging down that uh, Baron, but it doesn't look like anything is going to be happening with that at this moment. 
So anyway, or anywho, uh, let's look a little, oh, and the mine goes off on both Carthus and Leona. Uh, but yeah, just kind of looking at how things are going, looks like a Moomoo is almost potentially ready to kind of uh, become the tank that he needs to be in order to actually make his team um, a lot more successful in some of these team fights. Meanwhile, you got Vlad dodging all of the Skittles. Uh, here we go. We got this fight. Karthus is out here by himself. Meanwhile, Leona trying to help, but I don't think that was necessarily a good move on her part. Meanwhile, the Requiem comes down. Severe blocks that, and that is going to be a long cooldown for uh, Karthus not really meaning much. Uh, meanwhile, in bottom, it looks like Malzahar is going to be helping to close that uh outer influence of the blue team out by removing that last inner tower from the bot lane at this point blue team needs to kind of figure out a more defensive situation for them to kind of thrive in otherwise uh red team is going to continuously work towards trying to pick these guys off and uh make things more difficult for the blue team to defend blue team in my opinion has a really good a really strong defensive based team uh, where if they're together and if they're in a zone that's kind of set up the right way by Teemo there's no reason why they shouldn't win that fight um, but it's all up to whether or not Teemo is using all of his minds the best he possibly can and kind of setting things up more for the red team's advantage rather than uh, kind of, I don't know. With Teemo, you can set up traps, and it doesn't necessarily seem like Teemo's really setting up traps. It's more like he's just kind of doing a standard, all right, where are things uh, type of mushroom situation. Meanwhile, it looks like that's going to be a Cloud Dragon, I believe, for the red team. Uh, yes, it is. So they're going to take that cloud. The next dragon is an earth dragon. And if the red team gets that earth dragon, I honestly hope the baron will be taken by them. But at, if they don't take that baron uh, before that dragon, it's going to be pretty easy for them to take it that next time. So we got red team clearing out some of the stuff going on in baron pit. Getting that scuttle crab as well as that mushroom team I left earlier. Um, and it now looks like. Uh, oh, I don't know why Leona went in. She went in by herself. She's taking a lot of damage from. Well, no, it's not really, I guess. She's not really taking all that much damage from these guys. But uh, it forces the blue team to kind of get together and it forces the red. It looks like the red team is going to take advantage of the blue team backing uh, to go ahead and finally take this Baron. Uh, right now, Teemo is actually doing what I would hope he would have done, though. He's setting up a mushroom field in that mid path. Uh, most people, when they go, when they get barren for some reason, decide to go ahead and uh, push out mid. He's trying to set up a defensive zone, but at the same time, right now, he's also not really doing a good job of being in a defensive position or setting up more defenses in other lanes. Uh, it's we got to see if he's going to be able to kind of expand uh, his defensive zone around his base because right now it's not necessarily looking all that great for the red or for the blue team in terms of fighting off these barren empowered minions as well as this uh, red team. You say, especially considering right now it is a 10k gold, almost a 10k gold advantage, uh, more like 9k. No, oh, yeah, it's a 9k gold advantage for in favor of the red team. If they aren't smart about what they're going to be doing, and it's not going to turn into a good situation. And it looks like red team setting up. Oh, Rengar hits that first mushroom. Thresh unfortunately missing that hook, and uh, as a result, Rengar is going to be able to go away. Uh, another. <laughs> Like, they need all these mushrooms going off to start kind of whittling down these red team members, especially some of these tanks. Not really sure. Ooh. 
Timo came out a little too early. Could have been able to really take advantage of uh, that last room had he waited maybe a second or two more. Meanwhile, we got the red team splitting up, kind of making things a little bit easier for them to kind of break open this blue team base. Oh, and Sivir gets held down by the Malzahar while the angry jumpy cat decides to maul Sivir. It looks like that top tower is going to be the first one going down, and Thresh is going to go down with it as well. That's also going to be the, the first inhib of this game. It's going to be for the red team. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like another turret's going to go down. Karth is going to go ahead and take mid. This might be a bad thing for the red team, however, as they may have stayed too long. A move comes through and hits that hits that ult. And I don't know what's going on with this Teemo, but he needs to get back to his team. Because right now, the Nexus is going down. Looks like Karthus is going to be targeting this Nexus. And he's going to get the 50 gold as that is going to be the end of the game. It's a good job on the red team's part for being able to kind of build up that advantage over the course of this game and create some pretty decent picks to allow them to, uh, I guess, win the game. Uh, really good job on Malzahar. Uh, well, part, pretty good job on Malzahar. He was able to kind of set up that last engage uh where he was able to ult out the Sivir, and from there the blue team kind of scrambled to uh protect that tower as a result um well they scrambled to protect and run from the tower at the same time and as a result they were able to pick off a few more members and essentially kind of walk walk their way through to the rest of the game uh, so good job on him for essentially having the play of the game that being said I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Again, I want to thank my friend iHeartJustice for allowing me to kind of cast their game. Again, if you are interested in me casting any of your games, you should add me on League and possibly say something about that. Uh, I'm going to be Strike Alpha. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. You all have a pleasant day, and I can't wait to see you guys for the next cast.